Hey again, it's Louise here to talk to you some more about school leadership, building teams, and all the joy and fear that comes with it. So if you're like me, you're working on creating a sense of belonging, you really want a team atmosphere, you want that social learning place where learning is reciprocal, where people are giving and taking and sharing and learning and growing at all times. And yet at the same time, you know there's big work to do in the world of equity. Creating equitable schools is not going to happen overnight. We've come too far in the track that we've already been on to know that a quick correction or a course change is not going to change things dramatically in a quick way. We have to keep working at it, keep working at it, keep working on it. But how do you know when you're going too far? How do you know when you're pushing so hard that you might even risk losing your job and the opportunity to even share every idea that you have and the passion and commitment that you have for creating equitable schools for students. That's something I think about all the time. I always had my benchmark of what am I willing to get fired for? Um, just to kind of keep me honest about the type of work that I really want to do and just contribute to the world in that way. So for some people that that job loss might be a price worth paying. I think there are points in all of our careers where we go, yep, this, this is my moment. This is the line in that sand that I need to cross. And for others, mm, that line hasn't appeared yet. Or we cautiously step back saying, not yet, not now. There's still work that I have to do. And I'm going to struggle through this piece at this moment. And yet we have students in front of us every single day. They only get this one chance at their K-12 experience before they go on to jobs, continued education, uh, their lives, everything that's ahead of them. And so the question that I really sit with all the time is, am I doing enough? Oh, that one keeps me up at night. Am I doing enough? I never ask myself, am I doing too much actually? Because I know my students are always gonna tell me, when I'm doing too much. They have that way of letting you know. And my favorite phrase from them is, you're doing too much. So I know that I have a really good barometer in my students, but what's my barometer with my team that's around me? Are we doing enough? How can we do more? How can we be better? How can we make that difference? If those questions are keeping you up at night and you're trying to figure out how do I create my team in such a way that we really are feeling like we're pushing that envelope, that we are doing enough to create a school of equity, to create an opportunity for every student. Yeah, if those are the questions that you're wrangling with. I would love to talk to you. That's what I do. That's my specialty. And that's my passion. Spend an hour with me, no charge. Just let's talk about it. What's up with you? What's going on with your school? Where are the equity push points that you really know that are, are ready? Where are the points that, are, that you're not ready that you need to strategize around? And how does your team play into all this? How are you being a team leader? Those questions and more are things that we can talk about and figure out, maybe set you on a new direction or reinvigorate the direction that you're already on. I would love to have that conversation with you and I look forward to connecting with you. A little bit more is written down here in my blog. So I hope you uh, stick around for the rest of the great goodies that are here. And I look forward to connecting with you again.